on it, but I never switch. They say you switch, you want it. You know they came from the bottom, and now we is lit. You was lit, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. You hate it, cause I don't know what. My bitch, you wanna be famous, huh? The hell they made us, huh? You know I'm Pisces and Vegas, huh? This for the that hate us, huh? I make a lot of no money, huh? When the it's not safe, huh? You be liking my flavor, huh? I think it's good. I just wanna know We're at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the Miami Dolphins. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from Lincoln Financial Field fairly short kick taken at the 14 here and he breaks it all the way out to the 38 yard line great return the Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 38 yard line So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Fitzpatrick. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Malik Jackson able to get in there and run him down for what's going to be a loss of 15 yards all told. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. Fitzpatrick now on second down. A complete. This is Albert Wilson. Give him 14 on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Check four and two, man. That's good. That guy's good. Tight on this stop. Hey, over. There you go. Get down, get down, get down. Check 26. Check 26. Okay, that's... Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. It's complete to Graham. 25 yards that time. And a key number on that play? Three. Third play of the drive. Third down. Spectacular catch. Turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. They'll run on first down. Laird. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 31, Fitzpatrick. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 20-yard line. Regular, regular. Hey, shoot! From 
from the red zone now, Fitzpatrick. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Top oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 16. A alpha. So after the INT, here's Wentz. He's got the hookup here to Deshaun Jackson. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 60 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Looking to throw on second down. Wentz. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. From the gun, it's Wentz. And he's going to go down again. Raekwon McMillan, he's the one to get him this time. And back-to-back -back sacks brings up fourth down. Bravo! They do go for it. It's Wentz. And the pressure gets to him again. Raekwon McMillan. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, that, my friend, I guess is the definition of a head-scratcher. Fourth and long, this stage of the game, what were they doing? I just have to believe that he, he looked at the situation, still in the first half, decided if there was a time to be aggressive, now was it, because there's still time to make up for it if things don't go right. Of course, a lot of questions on this one, and look, I want to go for it as much as anyone. But fourth and long? Yeah, I don't think I would have there. That one seemed a little bit on the irrational side. Fans might be a little angry at that one. Throwing again on second down. Fitzpatrick, and he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. First quarter, and now he already has two interceptions. Okay, he's got a guard against being tentative from this point forward, though. He's got to still make the right reads, make the proper throws. I've seen guys in this league throw four interceptions in a game and win. He's got to understand, put it behind you, keep pressing forward. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Hey, Charlie! No score after one on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go. Let's go! Here. 55, Mark, 55. Here, here. Oh, yeah, and here we go again. Hey, Echo. Check 57, 57. Check 55. On second and 12, Wentz, and he's going to have the hook up to Scott. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Now Wentz on third down. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson, and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Now let's see how the offense is still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Hey! 
Mike five five. Mike fifty five. Mike five. five. They'll try and throw for it here. Aguilar has it. The thirty. Pass the twenty. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Nelson Aguilar, seventy nine yards. As his guys are on the board first here tonight. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The We're Dolphins ready. at the line ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now the former fourth-round pick, it's Kalen Balazs. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Throwing on second down, Fitzpatrick. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Grant. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Go, go. Jim, go, Jim. Check 52. To throw is Fitzpatrick. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hey, color, color. Feel it. Oh, to throw again. Fitzpatrick looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. A ball may come your way. Third and short yardage. Fitzpatrick. And it's caught by Parker. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 26. This quarterback now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Here's Gaskin. Give the tackle that time to Rodney McLeod. From the 22, Fitzpatrick. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. So now after the sack, third and long, and Fitzpatrick and company, a little work to do. Third and long for Ryan Fitzpatrick. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Now a play fake here on first down. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the 5-yard line. 
Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Recon, 132 fighter. Now Balazs. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Second down and goal, Fitzpatrick. He's got it, touchdown, Dolphins. Jakeem Grant there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Open man here is Scott complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Wentz now on first down. He'll hit Jackson complete. Yeah. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Hey, box truck, box truck. Now wins and complete to Zach Ertz. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here we go, D. Hey, exit. Sunday, Sunday. 55 is my guy, 55. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. That'll be taken in the end zone.
That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Get ready. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> Show them one thing, hit them with something else. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. Check. Sunday, Sunday. They'll run it now out of the gun. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Devon Goncho up to make the tackle. On second down now. It's Scott, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Here's Wentz to throw. This is brought in by Gibson. And he's got this down to the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I'm going to get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On first and 10, here's Wentz. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing. They'll run it now out of the gun. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have the first down at about the 21-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. First and ten at the 21-yard line. Right back to Sanders on first down. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. On second down, it's Scott. 
Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll bring up a second and goal. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Boston Scott there to make the grab. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. And he will take it back only to about the 13-yard line here. A conventional football. Football 101 tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go. Red light means stop. And got his man complete. The 20, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jakeem Grant, 87 yards, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Scott, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. A two-yard pickup brings up third and one. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. The Eagles indeed snap it. Wins. And that is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This is Gaskin on the carry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Looking to throw on second down. Fitzpatrick, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he finds Parker here, complete. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and 
Throwing on second down, Fitzpatrick. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker there to make the grab. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run. back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line at the line this Philly offense set to go and last time out went for it on fourth down turned it over gave him great field position turned into six points so they've got to recover here Charles it's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events right the decision to go for it on fourth try to get it to Jackson and it's intercepted picked off at the 33 and he'll wind up losing five yards or so on the return but no matter they've got the football back Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And they string that play out nicely. He stopped before he can turn up field. No gain, second down. Looking to throw on second down. Fitzpatrick on the crossing route, complete. That's Grant. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A first down there on a pickup of 25. This quarterback now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And they will set up shop in enemy territory. 